It's okay to be scared. I know. Yeah. about mentality. You gotta work on yourself, you gotta be better about it. Christine got blues. Christine got blues. She ain't got it. Unless it's a blue eight and then we'd be screwed, so. Or unless it's a red seven. Oh shit, she a red? Oh my god! Clippers, 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 clippers. And welcome to uh, a platform reaction episode 53 with the Ubisoft forward uh, the play phone right now. Oh. But Oh, well, I skipped some one of those play Oh man, I mean, it, but, uh, we kind of caught the transition. We did another forward. casual bar spin there. For June twelfth, twenty twenty three, here on the channel. Oh, it's in the pre-show here, waiting for show to get started here. How's everybody doing? I knew uh, I we usually get out around two, but then I'm really starting at one really. Oh so me help. It's coming tomorrow! <laughs> it's coming tomorrow! I'm amazed. I'm so excited. <laughs> I'm so excited. Yep, the freaking dudes. <laughs> Just dance. Did he crash into me? <laughs> anyway, you can't stream on so Twitch amazing, with the, way, the music because it. That Ubisoft San Francisco <laughs> just donated $10,000. It gets your channel strike. I know. I know. Right? The music, yeah. What in the fuck? Damn, it's game. Oh, what is this? <laughs> <laughs> what is happening? This thing looks like the wide body of Bud the just, future. What the heck is this? Uh, I don't even know. Uh, what Bud just raised right out of the water. Turning out as I drive the thing. <laughs> oh, right, that's a thing I remember. I think we <laughs> Really? We did? Oh yeah, my god! That's reached the goal I thought we were even yeah, That's crazy, wow. That's uh we started Thank at like thirteen thousand so something. So yeah, oh, getting wow. to the fifteen is insane. That's really insane. Thanks everyone. Oh that just thank you. Okay, so <laughs> the show's about to begin. No, get your moments, snacks, get cool. settled, ready? Let's go! Some of the stuff we know we've already talked about, we've already seen like I forget the one is Star Wars game because it gameplay that they announced yesterday in our Xbox and uh it's funny is it's like but uh is that the uh curse like that free run can't really for that one and uh see what else is it says and more though it's built on but uh, Just Dance was the longest time, and I think we were talking about this in the right show. funny thing I think we talking about the whole but the longest time was one of the few, and one of the few companies that were still really sick ears on the Wii. Yeah. And then we still Just Dance games being released on the Wii a few years ago. I guess it's a game that's really. I guess because it's still. I guess they, I guess they sold almost, but they still could. 
the fact I can see it, it's not graphically intense enough, even still to this day, as they could have still put it. So I'm guessing the only reason they stopped is because they're, they're dull enough to, to continue putting it as a, uh, putting it, to the, putting a Wii version out. But yeah, Just Dance was putting out, the Ubisoft was putting out Just Dance games on the Wii, three years after the Wii was, the Wii was stopped being supported. How was it even that? But yeah, is that an official Olympic license Olympic event? I, I have no words. Yeah, I should have done that. It really doesn't matter. I my control up there, I'm going to beat it on right now. Oh my god, you're missing the dance swing, like, really. If a video game is not just saying it. The people dancing, you know what I mean? Conference. When I dance, come on, right? When I dance, come on, friends. But if go sang not be a ranel, talk be a hemitse. Oh, wait, we start with the avatar. I gotta start with it. from us. From me. I was trained in their ways. Their technology. Their weapons. Things that a Na'vi should not know. And then one day, they left. Hell's Gate is under attack. Evacuate now. Kill all the Na'vi children. But before they did, our teacher saved us and put us to sleep. This is your only chance to survive. And there I remained for 15 years. Until one day, I awoke. And I was free. Free to explore my world. Free to decide who I was going to be. Free to discover what I was meant to do. Now you see what they kept you from. Your true home. under attack again. Don't let the Na'vi get in our way. Get rid of them. And I have a choice to make. I choose to protect my home. I 
that looks like a good job. I was a child of two worlds. I am no longer. I am Navi. Sivako. Hi there, everyone. I'm Jim Cameron, the creator of Avatar and Avatar The Way of Water. In developing both of these films, I set out to imagine another world, a world as rich and complex as our own. And we wanted the audience to feel as though they were really on Pandora, to dream with their eyes wide open, and to explore this world with our characters. And it's always been our vision to embrace technology to allow us to find new ways outside the cinema to immerse people in this world. Our friends at Ubisoft share the same ambition, and the team at Massive have been pushing the boundaries of what's possible in games to bring a new corner of Pandora to life. So with Avatar, Frontiers of Pandora, our creative team at Lightstorm has been able to share their insights with Massive's talented team, who are experts in creating living, open worlds. Together, we'll be able to bring players to the Western frontier, with new environments, new flora and fauna, new characters, and an original story that coexists with the events of the Avatar films. We can't wait for you to join this adventure, and we look forward to welcoming you back to the world of Avatar once again. We can't wait for you to join this adventure, and we look forward to welcoming you back to the world of Avatar once again. Okay, that was a bit awkward. I didn't think that was supposed to be played. Hello, everyone. My name is Dita Deinfeld, and as the game director, I'm proud to be representing the team behind Avatar Frontiers of Pandora today, and excited to share a sneak peek of what we've been working on. In this all-new story, you'll set out on a journey of discovery to unravel the mysteries of your past, Learn what it means to be Navi and explore new parts of Pandora on land or together with your trusted banshee in the air. Our ambition is to create a playground where curiosity is rewarded. This tangible and highly immersive first person experience will allow you to closely connect to a beautiful open world, touch and interact with it, using your size, your superhuman strength, and your natural agility to gain the upper hand. As the Navi say, Sivako, let's rise to the challenge on December 7th. Until then, we're delighted to show you a glimpse of this adventure. So prepare to lose yourselves in the beauty and the danger of the Western frontier. Thank you. Okay, I need to call it like the crowd daring just to know the game. Can they mix it in now? The background? That's weird. Welcome to Avatar Frontiers of Pandora, a first person action adventure game that invites you to explore the engaging world of Avatar in an immersive open world experience. I'm Didi Deinfeld, game director, and I'm excited to reveal what's waiting for you on Pandora. The story of our game begins when the RDA expands their operations to the western frontier. John Mercer, one of the leaders of the RDA, abducts you and other Navi children from your home to teach you the ways of humans, hoping to mold you and turn you against your own people. But his plan is interrupted by the Battle of the Hallelujah Mountains, and you are put into emergency cryosleep. When you awaken 15 years later, you are a stranger in your birthplace. Knowing the dangers posed by the RDA, you set out to take them down and look to secure the help of other Navi clans. Initially, you're perceived as an outsider, so you have to reconnect with your lost Navi heritage to gain their yeah, trust. Man, man, they don't look good. trust On them. your adventure, you'll find your own path as you discover what it means to be Navi. You'll explore new regions of Pandora, each with their own unique biomes. 
The Kinglaw Forest is a lush rainforest brimming with life and dense vegetation in the shade of awe-inspiring floating mountains. This is the home of the Aranahe, a clan of peaceful weavers who will guide you on your first hunt and on your first flight. The Aranahe that really will show you the great way job to the capturing the look of it. Okay, I give it with your very own Ikram. The Ikram is a devoted companion that you can name, feed, and customize. Experiment with acrobatics and feel a rush of adrenaline as you dive from the sky and explore the open world of Pandora from the air. If you travel north, you'll get to the upper plains. An expansive grassland filled with contrasts and open views as far as the eye can see. The nomadic Seswa clan live here in symbiosis with gigantic beasts called Sakru. Earn the clan's trust, and they will teach you the art of riding dire horses. And further west, the mysterious clouded forest, where hidden in the mist, nothing is as it seems. Here lives the Kamatiri, a clan of healers with their own dark reasons to stay hidden. RDA operations are threatening the balance of Pandora. They build facilities of all sizes to exploit resources at any cost, spreading devastating pollution. In the process, animals are hurt and poached. You'll need to stop the RDA from ravaging your home. And when you are ready, you will take the fight to them. As a child of two worlds, you can learn to master multiple combat styles. Your powerful instincts allow you to get an overview of the battlefield, mark your enemies, and identify weak points. Traditional Navi weapons are versatile and precise. You can use the longbow to hit long-range targets, or the staff sling to set up traps. For a more explosive approach, you can leverage your human training and go for the blast of an assault rifle, a shotgun, or go bigger with the occasional rocket launcher. On foot, you can also rely on your incredible strength to take down amp units. Above the clouds, your Ikran will help ways you with aerial combat level. against the RDA. You have their own pros and cons, RDA but facilities like I, will have a tangible like a impact on your world. Games. With the pollution removed, Pandora heals. You will be able to harvest the best quality material True. again, <laughs> and craft better gear and weapons. What sucks is that it's greed. To cook and make meals to get stronger. As you keep discovering what it truly means to become Navi, you'll improve your skills by connecting to Aerith through the, the good, plant the bad. and learn from the memories of your ancestors. Skill upgrades can improve many aspects of Tell your me, character, I, I such as could, your natural agility to move through I, I, the world, I've coined the term Ubisoftism, hunting, or fighting, or the handling of your weapons and mounts. Which is, uh... I the call is like, it doesn't is really a happen a lot in more designed to my movies off games, but of new gen consoles back, and PC. You'll yeah, be able to back play full up until, in single player, or with a friend online you know, in two player co-op. Back uh, for a long time, Ubisoft you games, you would see Become so many games force elements of Pandora. force elements of stealth that sometimes don't make any sense. Character NPCs knowing things that don't make they don't feel like they shouldn't know things. You know. Force Forced having to do things in a certain ways that don't that really make it more difficult. It should be it Yo, chat. Let's get it, baby. in a way that just, some fun with it hurts it. the game oh, because it's that kind of the, you think you should be able to do this way. You Another can't one. because it, the game won't let you or it makes it hard. Like you, you fail the mission or or you can't because. Oh or sometimes, or sometimes it's like, we're we talking about Assassin's Creed. Sorry, we would go, go, we have to go back there. I know, I know, I know, we're not talking about that. 
but one of the things about Assassin's Creed 3 is that mission figure that got stuck on was you had to get keep that, that one scout from getting to the base. Every time we were, we were, we're still right there. Still have a chance to stop him. We're getting over the plane still. But just him getting to the base. Getting to... I'm messing with critical damage. What about you? I'm just, I'm so excited about this game in general. Just getting, just getting to, hold on, I guess the camp, I don't want to go base. The, the getting to the camp kept you from finishing the mission, even though he never gets, he de, because he hello, gets to, to the camp and the kids of the mission out, you know, he doesn't give the plans yet. Uh, what you just saw was a collection of live <laughs> clips so and stupid. reactions from players streaming our game during our closed beta test in April. Uh, and we've been absolutely overwhelmed by the amazing response to our game from players all over the world. Now, for us, community has I mean, really stuff been like that. Stuff like this you know, NBC's and knowing thing they probably shouldn't. Public tests it so goes far. back to the like, closed beta, there's a mission the of largest, Watch Dogs. Like, and of course, the wait, first How no are NBA. the cops, why are we avoiding the cops all in this? Of these tests, we've done the cops have no idea who we are or who's in this car looking for us. So thank we're in the you car. so much we're for the more than one and a half million the players cops who have participated in those tests. And the reasons? countless like, creators why would they and streamers even be allowed to be out who shared their this footage way. and feedback It made no clients. sense. It was like... Now we're ready to look towards it was, the future. It was, it, 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 it was stupid stuff like that that really annoyed the hell out of me. And it's really something but that's really got me out of the Assassin's Creed to the Ubisoft game in more recent years. But... This open session will be available to everyone on PC, PS5, and Xbox Series. We went back and, and S you know, fished the Ezio saga. And then the Ezio saga and the. Uh, this is a short test, um, but we are opening it to everyone to get as much feedback as possible. It was like, on our new net code. Yeah, this is. It was completely obvious. Like, and of God, course, man, I, I don't miss this shit. As much as possible. So if you have not played X Defiant yet, this is your chance, but let's talk about that's, that's what's going to happen things. when we launch later uh, again, this summer. It's not we will start, we will start with a six-week preseason that will have all of Assassin's our Assassin's Creed Four with 14 maps, five factions, 24 weapons, and the more recent Assassin's Creed. So hopefully, we then move into our in year the... one content schedule. Mirage, even though it's going to be like really more of old school, content. which means four brand new makes me worry about those. Factions. We're going to return to the Ubisoft of the as I like to call them. You know, those and 12 new maps. Force, That's one new map every things, month. Force things, force missions, and NPCs, the only thing they should be is like, world. really, game. really, 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 Year one is really going to have a lot of great gameplay content, all focused on creating a fun. And I, I, I hope Pop did in, in Avatar. And, and we are committed to. I don't know if we're going to play that. Hope if it's good, if you're going to think that out, maybe we'll play some of next year. It's just again. Now it's been quite the journey to get to this point. So thank you again to it's all. It's looking the like we do have a spot Xbox open Alliance in 2020. So and for, 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 for it chance. because of we hope to virtually see you the seven being not coming out till early twenty twenty seven. So who knows when? I I, I don't know. Somebody was somebody was saying that young Al was somebody was saying that so many people would complain about something like why this actually looks like old school. Prince of Persia style game. I don't know what. Is somebody was painting it? I don't know. Maybe I got deleted. I never got to watch it. Like. I guess there was. We were hoping for. No one that. Been delayed over and over again. But it's something like. Hey, we're going to give you an old school style Prince of Persia. Well, this one's. <laughs> Whatever the heck is going on to, with that just worked out. Much like, you know, Metroid Prime, I think I, I think that's what they I think that's what they're thinking. Like, hey, 
No, we've got a Metroid Estelle, like, not Metroid, but like, it's like, that, that style of game that can go back between those, and like, why don't we release a game there? game, go back to the old, old style, like Metroid did with the more recent Metroid, oh, waiting for the next game, and next, the game we announced from earlier. I think they're trying to do that with, um, uh, uh, Dread, that's what it was, Metroid Dread, that's why I'm thinking, Metroid Dread. Um, I think they're trying to, like, coming up, like, okay, Metroid Dread had, um, I mean, this is a look. It, it looks interesting. We saw some gameplay get, get um during the expo. It was actually yeah. Yeah. So it definitely could be interesting. Hi everyone. Hello. It's so exciting to be with you today. About 30 years ago, in 1989, I discovered a great action adventure game, both challenging my skills and respecting my cleverness. I didn't even think of that. I was like, wait was a minute, wait a minute. Why would they release Prince of Persia this style? Game director oh, of Prince of Persia. Ooh. like Metroid Dread. That's right. Keep, Time keep, has keep, come to open a new chapter. Keep the old journey with the, in Legend the, of the, Persia. The, the Prince of Persia remake that been the put on the back burner. Yeah, it's like Metroid Dread and Metroid Prime 4. Ooh, I see what you did there. I see what you did there. See what you did there. The youngest member of the squad of seven baby warriors. Did that just hit me like... Immortals. Ah. One night, Prince Hassan, sole heir to the throne, is abducted and taken to her hostile and cursed land, Mount Kaf. You and your brothers in arms are sent on a rescue mission to save Prince Hassan. However, this assignment will cast you straight into the lion's den. And it is here that you, Sargon, and the whole kingdom must prepare to face the is greatest I'm speculating and everything. This is your story. In Mount Calf, this is my own speculation. When entering Mount Calf, your mission is clear. Find Prince Hassan and bring him back to Persepolis. However, Mankat becomes a prison full of hostile inhabitants. Now separated from your allies, you discover a grand citadel full of mysteries, where time flows differently. What is this sorcery? The past coexists with the future. In this cursed land, exploration is everything. This is a semi-open world that delivers new secrets as you find new powers. But to reach new areas, you have to master your skills and your sense of timing. A trademark of Prince of Persia. During this epic journey, you won't be the only one trapped in Mount Calf. Goddess and blacksmith to the gods. Some dwellers are willing to help you, while others are more reluctant. But Sargon is a swordsman like no other. There is one with eight for them. Known for being losing, ruthless, and extremely yeah, skillful on the battlefield. Place. Whenever we, we saw this, I was thinking like, oh, we're probably going to get news on, you know, the Prince of Persia remake. The Prince of Persia remake. Yeah. And then I was like, wait, this is not what we were just saying. You know. Time powers are back. But this time, what the hell was that? Not only in your hands. <laughs> to face such a challenge, master a new side of these time powers and defy gravity. <laughs> By combining all these skills together, 
You can express your creativity to solve Mancap's mysteries and execute brutal combos in epic combats. And that's just a glimpse of what Prince of Persia, The Lost Crown, is all about. I'd like to thank Mentrix, who composed... Definitely looks really good, you good man. You are just listening to. And of course, my fantastic team at Ubisoft Montpellier. <laughs> we cannot wait for you me, to get your hands on the game. It releases on January 18, 2024, on all platforms. Thank you, and enjoy the rest of the show. Yes, sorry, that doesn't oil the edge of the game. I tried. I, I, I don't know if I ever talked about this. Like, I tried a way back um, Prince of Persia game. A new play tracking game? Hi. Far Cry? My name is Addy Shankar. I'm a TV and uh, movie producer. You may know me from the Castlevania animated series on Netflix. But, um, yeah, it was like, yeah, it had to be on the 360. One of my fan fiction shorts on oh, YouTube. Oh, man. Maybe the, yeah. Seven years ago, I got a call from Ubisoft offering me the opportunity to adapt one of their, uh, very, very, very serious franchises into an anime. <sighs> but instead, I came back to them with a crazy concept inspired by the, the mood of Far Cry 3 Blood Dragon. Yeah. <laughs> this concept used Ubisoft's vast library of characters and remixed them into one delirious anime series that would become this love letter to the 90s. Or at least how I remember the 90s. <laughs> and to my absolute surprise, Ubisoft said no. <laughs> they said no to that? Just kidding. They said yes. <laughs> That's why I'm up here. <laughs> I was wondering why you're up there. What the hell is this? This is the story of how the first anime series by Ubisoft was born. Captain Laser Hawk. A Blood Dragon remix. This show is many things. It's violent. It's a dystopian fiction in the spirit of the works of Aldous Huxley. It's a spoof. It's a satire. It's dark comedy. It's a love story. And as a descendant of Indian mystics, I can tell you it's the most philosophically conscious show you've watched in a long time. The series was picked up by Netflix. It was animated by the renegade genius pirates at Bobby Pills Studio. And today, I'm very happy to announce that barring an apocalypse, which, which may happen, it will be released worldwide later this year. Tiger is. The guy from, it says the guy and that's not from Castlevania, though. It's I'm even good. more excited to share with you anyway, I mean. an action-packed, Easter egg-filled teaser trailer right now. Don't change the channel. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Okay, that looked very... I, I don't know. Vision. Oh, dee -dee 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 -dee. Are you hyping for a miracle? Are you hyping for a miracle? Hey everyone, it's an honor for us to be here with you today. We're home free, and this is our song Skull and Bones. A kingpin was born upon the sea. There was meant to walk the land of pirates' life for me. I'll ask you, wine enough for sails, don't speak to mutiny. I myself a wanton port or bottom of the sea. Along the shores of Saint Anne to the eastern shore. I'll take my chances on the wind to loot and plunder scores. A flag, it stands for us alone. No one else around. We owe our honor to the sea and not to any crown. Yo ho, yo ho, the sea's forever roll. Yo ho, yo ho, the winds forever blow. Long after I'm a Davy Jones, till I'm not but skull and bones. Yo ho. Oh, 
yeah, they still haven't. We've been hearing about this game for freaking years. Closed beta August 21st to 28th. Going to Brahalla? You are pretty good too. Ooh. DLC with Rayman? Rayman coming as DLC is Mario Rabbits? Wow. Thanks for telling us the thanks for the gameplay. I feel like I got good these kind of things. Okay, you're able to face them, uh... Most... It's a new crew game coming out. Thank you! Thank you! <laughs> Thank you, guys! Thank you, everyone. Oh, I had eight seasons of the... Five years ago. Of the crew channel. To to car. Now, each... I realize that was the whole thing, though. Millions of thrill seekers, <laughs> just like you, are enjoying, playing, eager to see what's next. I am Stéphane Bollet, creative director of the crew. Thanks. <laughs> hey! Today, at last, it is my pleasure to introduce the future of the crew, Motor First, our own new take on the action-driving genre, a celebration for car lovers to share and experience car culture fantasy on the beautiful island of Hawaii. In Hawaii, no matter how you enjoy cars and driving, on your own or with your crew. 
Motorfest has something for everyone. Motorfest, your portal to medley of high octane experiences. You choose how you like to have fun with your cars. This is what Motorfest playlists are all about. Playlists are truly at the heart of Motorfest. Wanna immerse yourself in the most exciting worlds of car culture? Yeah! Dive into the legacy of the world's most influential automakers. Light up the night street racing scene, Japanese style. Unleash the cutting edge power of electric supercars. And this is just a I taste. Never heard that one. I this For the first time ever, we leave the That's US mainland behind. Our festival really has either. landed in one of the most yeah, like breathtaking and vibrant places on it Earth. Looks fine. It looks bad. Let's find out why Oahu is the perfect playground for driving fun. Race through the city street of Honolulu. Barred up. Black ash covered slopes. Adventure deep into lush rainforests. Or cruise the dunes at sunset with your friends. Opportunities for fun and challenges are endless. A unique playground like this calls for a profusion of vehicles. Choose and customize your ride with one of the most diverse lineups ever from past, present, and future. Recognize the latest from Lamborghini? I think so, yeah, I know. You are as thrilled as I am to get behind the wheel of this beauty. Hey, some of you have spent a lot of energy building the perfect vehicle collection in the Crew 2. In a few weeks, you will be able to import your vehicle collection into the Crew Motorfest for free. Thanks. So stay tuned for more news about the collection import and our complete festival program later this month during our summer showcase. Since the beginning of the year, thousands of players have tested the game and given us priceless feedback through the Insider program. Join the party, register now for a close beta and share with the world your experience in July. From the entire team at Ubisoft, I vote it over. Mahalo. Thank you. Welcome to Motorfest. Enjoy the ride. Oh, it's gorgeous, I'm gonna be wrong again, it looks... But again, it's just... Just not my type of thing.
this creed. We are okay. This gameplay is different than the character. Putting out like gog thirty hundred dollar goggles, VR goggles. Like, what the Assassin's fuck? Coming to make I'm not kidding you. Look at that. They're like freaking out. They're like the fucking look like goggles to go swimming with. The assassin. You will feel what it means to parkour, <sighs> fight, and be stealthy in new memories from three legendary assassins: Ezio, Cassandra, and Connor. I cannot wait to see our players feel the thrill of virtual reality in the Assassin's Creed universe. But there is more. Nexus is not the only game that will offer new ways to play Assassin's Creed. Assassin's Creed Codename Jade is our first open-world RPG game on mobile. It will take you to ancient China in a time of intrigue and conspiracy. In this brand new adventure, you'll experience the iconic Assassin's Creed gameplay for free Anywhere, anytime. I am glad to announce that you can register now for the upcoming beta. Here's a glimpse of what you can expect. Legacy. Totally it's dumb. honoring those that came before us. I don't Learning care. From their triumphs and mistakes to illuminate and hold yeah, their I stories love it. it's to great, light but there's, it's for VR. all to see that inheritance of knowledge helps to guide and shape our future now it's your turn to build on those foundations and rise to even greater heights to step out of the shadows and into a vast world to make your own legacy We've all been waiting for this moment. A Sound Mirage is a very, very special game. Designed as the first titles of the series that many of us fell in love with. Coming October 12th, Assassin's Creed Mirage takes the eyes back to its roots. Sarah, our narrative director for the game, on stage to tell you more about Basim and his journey. But before that, let's watch our story trailer. What are you doing? Don't think. Tell Basim the story of the feather. Our tradition of the feather comes from Egypt. The feathers of the heron were dipped in the blood of the targets. 
The feathers forge our paths. Remind us of who we are. Who we can be. The Order has held dominion over men and their empires for centuries. Strike quickly and end this. Swallow your questions. Serve without complaint. Who is she to tell you when to strike? Everything you do serves the Hidden Ones. That is a strange kind of freedom. You are not the first to walk the shadows broken. Pour your pain into the Brotherhood. We are messengers of justice. And not the final judges. He knows not what he is. Have you not wondered at your nature? What does it mean to be free? What must be sacrificed in the quest for freedom and just hidden ones fiercely pursue? Can you find your path and fulfill your destiny when you don't know who you really are? As he grows from street thief to master assassin, he has found the same purpose as a king in the him, leading to with no answer. In Baghdad, seeking the truth comes with a price. The capital of the Abbasid Empire, one of the richest, most diverse, and most advanced cities in the world, is at a turning point of its history. Unrest is growing, seeding a revolution against corruption and arbitrary justice, an uprising that will turn the tides of history and change the lives of everyone. Childhood friends, fellow hidden ones, as well as newly formed allies and enemies will shape Basim's adventure. But his horrific visions are the face of a struggle that he can only handle alone. There is a lot to look forward to in Assassin's Creed Mirage, and the best way to make you understand our unique Back to the Roots experience is to show you the game. In the following gameplay walkthrough, we meet Basim right after the assassination of his first main target, as he reports back to Roshan in Harbiya's Assassin Bureau. Enjoy. <laughs> Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. I am glad you are safe. 
Alhamdulillah, a first of many achievements to come, Basim. We should only hope. There's still much work to do. While our focus was on Al Ghul, Fulav quietly scouted the city for where we could erect more bureaus. I have found dwellings in three districts that are most unassuming. Ibid and Rebecca have arrived from Alamut and set off to Al Abyssia and Karh. I will make my way to Sharqia shortly. And I will join Rebecca in Karh, where corruption is as common uh, as the uh, arid uh, air. Uh, um. See Abu Jafar about some things he's been working on. Then come find us. Have a look, Basim. I may have hey, something that is of interest to you. Resourceful as always. My thanks, Abu Jafar. This is the place. What do you see, Enkidu? Let us reconsider the approach. As usual. That god who likes me said she and Ali's followers are trying to overthrow the prince. What madness! They will surely fail. Survey the area in Kidu. There is my target.
come on. Come on then. Idiot! Stop him! Ah, no! <laughs> everyone. So first, I want to start by saying thank you to all gamers all around the world. It's thanks to you that we are here today. You are at the heart of everything we do. And to all Ubisoft teams around the world as well, I would like to say a big thank you. Oh, thank you. So your talent and passion are at the foundation of this fantastic lineup. So I hope you are all excited to explore the amazing playgrounds you have seen today. At Ubisoft, we are creators of worlds. We are also proud to partner with some of the biggest in entertainment to create original stories in beloved universes. Now, I am very happy to welcome Julian from Ubisoft Massive to give you a first look at Star Wars Outlook and, and gameplay. So, thank you, Julian. Calm down. Do you want to see gameplay or not? <laughs> All right. Let's get over the speech and let's get to the gameplay. Star Wars Outlaws takes place in a time of great civil unrest across the galaxy. For some, this is a time of turmoil. For outlaws, this is a time of opportunity. As a thief, Kay Vess, her companion Nyx, fight for survival every single day, relying on their skills and resourcefulness to get by. As they struggle to make ends meet, Kay and Nyx dream of the day that they will finally be free. But while seeking this freedom, Kay unexpectedly becomes one of the galaxy's most wanted. So to free herself from the bounty that follows her, Kay will need to pull off one of the greatest heists the Outer Rim has ever seen. As they navigate the underworld, caught between criminal syndicates and vicious, ruthless villains, Kay and Nyx will manage their reputation by taking on risky contracts and navigating complex relationships all whilst avoiding oppressive imperial rule. Can Nix's journey will take them across the galaxy through stunning, varied open world locations and the wilds of space. One of these locations is Tashara, a moon that features windswept savannah and ambering canyons. Carved into Tashara's striking landscape, the city of Miragana serves as a central hive of scum and villainy. Kanix will encounter several criminal syndicates that learn that everything is measured in the value of influence, 
reputation, or cold, hard credits. This presents an abundance of opportunities and dangers for a young, ambitious scoundrel like Kay. On behalf of Massif in Sweden, along with Ubisoft, ANSI, Barcelona, Bucharest, Chengdu, Milan, Montpellier, Paris, Shanghai, Toronto, and our amazing team at Lucasfilm Games, it's our privilege to present to you this first ever look at Star Wars Outlaws gameplay. <laughs> if you're willing to take the, the galaxy is full of opportunity. Thank you. That way, you do. Know, someone randomly hanging out in the box. Hey, uh, I was just leaving. Okay, okay, we'll figure this out. No, I got that. Shield. Hey, Nick! Catch! This is getting bad. I don't know do stealth. I have to be more stealth. Let's try this out.
doesn't have any weapons. Were you seen? I said I got it. What else matters? Yeah, that's what I said. What else matters? Should I assume we won't be working for the Pikes anytime soon? Um, well, they'll probably forgive me. Comforting. There's Jonta's Hope. We made it, Nix. You're late, Kay. Doc is waiting. What? Are you worried? No. Okay. No, but you're Troy. What? Be careful. Danka's a broker, not a friend. She can't be trusted. Who can out here? See you back Oi. at the ship. Still like my odds. Cave S. Back already. I told you she's fresh, but she's good. Who's this? Just a friend. Join us. Job was more complicated than you said, Dunka. You lived. <laughs> Hey, these aren't toys. They're investments. <laughs> Wait, we haven't met. Don't really know many of you. Stealing illegal contraband, running with syndicates. I could say you're a threat to the Empire. <laughs> But I won't have to, if you're smart. Thanks. But I'm smart enough to get myself out of trouble. You pay the tax just like everyone else. Whoa, kid. Let's just relax. You won't make it off to Shara alive. Maybe. We've outrun the Empire. We need to leave. Yeah, no kidding. That's what I was gonna say. Took the words way out of my mouth. on the sensors yet. Yeah, boy. Anybody on the sensors now? Tie fighters on us. We got one. I feel inclined to remind you that we should shake the Empire quickly. Thanks, I'm working on it. Captain Obvious over here. And a co-pilot. Let's jump. What 
happens if you bribed her? We made it. Hey. Got your new toy. So, where do we go next? Anywhere we want. Well, interesting is there with Nell. I wouldn't have thought it was so. Like, so many buddies by the TV dinner. I don't think I would have had a Gronk. I feel like I'm at it. Hi, my name is Umberly Gonzalez, and I play K Vess in Star Wars Outlaws. K Vess is a thief. She's a scoundrel. She's really good at sneaking around. You know, she's charming and she'll like talk to you, but she's already taking all your things. She isn't yeah, perfect at good. it, I mean, but like, she always seems to get away with it. Kate really so finds good. herself uh, in a um, bit of a jam. You know, she's got like her bounty on her man. back and is trying to find the work, gameplay. that's when she starts to really realize, I kind of like this underworld business, I kind of like this world, but bring it down, she's trying to like the crew, just dance, to survive, the because vision, nobody else will save her, that stuff her. people are really looking for, the only folks, person that she has is her companion, Nyx, they're not even human, yeah, but evil. that is the closest thing she yeah, has have to feeling on. a part of something in the world. I also think that Nyx, in a lot of ways, yeah. is kind of an extension of the This is the dumb stuff. <laughs> Gameplay sense or yeah. story sense, you know. In gameplay, she allows Kay to do things oh, yeah. she never thought possible. 
and I, I in the story it's, it's also point, a way for Kay to, to kind of you know, sense when something's off or, or see an opportunity or that kind of thing. Really they're completely connected. I love that relationship. I'm so excited for people to meet next because they're going to fall in love with That is going to be it for this cast. We're back in a couple hours. Outlaws we're going to be takes place right we're between a look at the, the Empire Strikes Back and Return of the, the, the Jedi. Jedi. So it's the Civil we're War later today, the Rebellion later today, and didn't the Empire. Back that is actually created the this pocket of opportunity away, which will be, for syndicates uh, we'll be and criminal organizations demo, to rise up which came out. space. So we're going to take a look at that. We've got the huts. We've got a new um, syndicate that we've crafted uh, for this game called the Ashiba and then, Clan. And one of the phrases we always held on to and, uh, was this maybe notion of you live and die by your reputation. I'm not so make really any exciting for Kay and, um, and hopefully for players. I don't even know She's if this is so game fearless. Cases, okay. You'll see her just go for it, it and anyway, there's so no stopping her. I can't her. even tell you that, so. Even when there's danger involved. But even when there's fear on the she'll that never one. let you um, see it. Not really. Definitely we'll For a come scoundrel back, story, you know, with, you really uh, have to ask yourself when is enough Mark enough? Deluxe, How far uh, is next Kay willing week on to Thursday, go and then, to land that big score? And that, those are questions and she's going to tackle. The 23rd, the whole we'll story. begin our next big we play with deal with. every step of the way crafting the story and they were an incredible. invaluable partner in That'll helping us create that. and craft this thing. They were really embracing us with open arms in terms of, hey, we want to focus on the underworld, we, we want to focus 23rd, on an outlaw navigating through Friday. that space. So, yeah. But we're sort of there to, the channel, to see if help guide got and point out, go, like, hey, here's an opportunity you might not have looked at, or there's a character we got coming up, you might up, want to consider. So really, next week. Anyway, it was a partnership in August. I feel like this is one of the biggest, if not the biggest, biggest franchise of our lifetime. The thing is, like, everything has just been a part of our world. Of and guess what? And for they, me, and, they, and all your progress from the demo Wars, comes over, goes over to the game. So this game, keep not just it. For how amazing no, the gameplay is, but like the story right itself, play. to see a young Good, so girl even, become a woman, become a woman. First time of the game is the demo, so. Are you worried? No. Progress from the demo release, goes over into the game. Energy, into the game, her video. humor, her wit, so, all of that cool. really has um, kind of helped us. We're also going to be playing on this great Ace Attorney. And some of the to play on the including jumping between tells the funny Spider Man 2, uh, high stakes, the tone, Death Stranding, to and shift so much of the stuff playing on the rest of the Performances. The following on such a range of the live, the live, the live, which is really good. I'll get engaged from those Facebook spreading YouTube. Speaking of this guy, did you debate all the places, Pat for the future, including all the previous live reactions to many events, including previously killing E3s, the. Maybe. All kinds of stuff and yeah, it kind of feels like she was always meant to be here. The presentation, Nintendo Directs, and. I Plus, I've played this as a of, uh, like this to life. Uh, fans of games are played. It's an honor, honestly, to be a part um, of this world. It's definitely the, the a part of this world. games are played. I'm so excited to play this. Because it's Final Fantasy V Royal, Royal, Royal right playthrough. So it's play through. There's only so it's all just the YouTube. And I feel now I'm really locked into the character. The team is amazing. And I feel very supported. Our playthroughs of. Uh, happy that they found me. Because it's funny and all. We've done all the other good stuff. Spider Man, Miles Morales, all kinds of good stuff. Get found there. Just push the videos that we found there. We're very well we'll wait. At Comic Con week. International this July and Sunday. Later this week and next week. We're going to get this crap in the next time, I'm sure. We got a lot of full tests lately. We got some later on the 20th birthday. Some stuff we already got started playing out for 2024. Okay, all everything is tentative. We do have a schedule page for that. You're watching on the YouTube. Hello and welcome to the Star Wars Outlaws official blog page. Down below, click the Twitch page. I'm Chastity Vicencio with Ubisoft News, and I'm joined by narrative director Naveed Kavari, creative director Julian Garrity, and game director Matthias Carlson, who are going to give us more information about what we saw in the gameplay walkthrough. Here we go. Yeah. And Back around 5.30. is our first ever introduction. Next, somewhere between there, Next. like still about 30 hours from Next now. Next is a Murkall, a Ruby rare self. and exotic creature I mean, whose home Capcom. planet still remains <laughs> a mystery. He's got a very curious personality, as you can see here. He can be a bit stubborn, Aww. but he has an incredibly strong bond with Kay and always follows her lead. She's grown up with the Nyx for most of her life. He's not just a pet, he's family. Good boy. And here we have Kay. First introduction to a brand new scoundrel in this galaxy. Kay is a young thief who's found herself on the moon of Tashara, which is a hive of 
underworld activity. She's picked up a high-risk job to steal a priceless sort of mollusk-like object from a lieutenant of the uh, Pike let's see, let's see, let's see. Once she's grabbed it, with the help of Nick, she's going to turn yeah, it in and earn uh, some much-needed yeah. So Pikes are one of the syndicates uh, that we'll be tangling with in uh, Star Wars Outlaws. And the Pikes here are borrowing without permission some vehicles from the Empire and the Rebels and uh, different people and cutting them up. Next. Nix is uh, more than just a lovable and fierce.